Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I am here today to share a new project I am going to be starting on in my Stitch Play series. Stitch Play is just where I practice my stitches. And in my last video, I shared my threads and fabrics that I'm going to be working on on this wool cloth. I spent the last 45 minutes creating this trellis stitch before my phone rang and I did not want to restart that stitch so I thought I would do a combined video for you. Stitch play is where I practice my stitches. This is going to be a piece that I am working on. I am outside today so if you hear birds or the water fountain that's why. I am working on leftover pieces that I have from this project that I started and never finished. These are one and a half inch circles and I'm cutting them into individual blocks and the blocks are, or squares are two inches. So I started a trellis. I'm going to show you how to start a trellis stitch, how to work a trellis stitch and some various threads that I have done the trellis stitch in. This beautiful thread is with, okay, now my little thread skein is missing. So let's find it on here. We are working this beautiful variegated thread is, I bought it at Michael's DMC. It's a size five thickness and it's a uh, variegated and it's number 4025. I love the variegated threads and I love how it looks up when it's worked up. So this is a long variegation and you just get a wonderful combine com or combination of colors. And I have started a beautiful trellis with these two other, these are cotton crocheting yarns. I, when I had to redo this video for you, I thought I would make it faster by starting a trellis stitch. And then we're gonna do different variations of the trellis stitch with different threads. So to start off with a trellis in the round, you need a circle. Draw yourself a circle or cut out a circle piece. And I have threaded up, this is a chenille needle. I like my long Milner's needle, but I'm just saving it for sake of time. I have threaded a couple of needles. I only have one of that special needle of mine. So to start a trellis stitch in the round, you have to do a back stitch. And a back stitch is you come out of your fabric and you go down. And then you come up. And you go down and you go all the way around your circle. Back, in and out, all the way around your circle. So that's your starting base for your trellis stitch. I've done another trellis stitch in a different color and I've done three rounds of the trellis stitch in this cotton yarn. So to continue, so I went down, this is my last stitch that I went down. So I could choose either one of these stitches to come back up into. To do a trellis stitch, you have to go, this is a back stitch. So in the length of one back stitch, you have to come up in the middle. And I wanna come up because I did my, I want my trellis stitch to outline my circle. I did my, back stitch all the way around on the outside of the circle. Now to create this little cup portion going inside, I want to come up. I want to come up in between this circle of felt and that yarn. So I'm going to come up right in the middle of it. I'm not piercing the yarn. If you look, this is one, whoops, this is one stitch. And I'm coming up just underneath the thread that I use, which happens to be yarn. So you come up. 
And to do a trellis stitch, you go underneath, I'm gonna call that a bridge. You go underneath the bridge and wrap your thread. You go over and around the needle. Have to figure out where I can hold this so, so it doesn't move. And you make a little knot. I use my thumb to pull that, move that thread out of the way. I go under my bridge. You don't want to catch the wool. You just wanna go under the bridge. My chenille needle is a little bit too wide, but you go underneath the bridge and you go over and around the needle and you pull it through. And you have to make sure that these spaces are just the, these little bridges that I'm calling are just the width of your needle. So we're gonna go under the bridge and with the thread you go over and around and you keep going all the way around your circle until you come to the end. Until you come to the, actually the beginning of your circle. So you keep going around like this, the first row, and you hold that piece that goes around with your thumb so you can pull the needle through. Under the bridge, over and around the needle, and pull. And you always, you have to make sure you pull your thread, I guess, towards the previous knot, so you only have that small little bridge, no wider than your needle. So under the bridge, over and around your needle, and pull. You continue all the way around. This this cup, this trellis stitch in this blue color will look exactly like this one that is done in this light pea color, I guess it is, light, light green color, pea green color. So I'm gonna show you how to work I wanna do more of this one in the ribbon stitch. So it's done the same way. We're gonna do the exact same stitch. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna pick up this one and same circle, same inch and a half, one and a half inch circle. And I went all the way around with a back stitch. And this is rayon ribbon. So it's like seam binding. So this is my last so in, be in between, this is the last stitch right here. This is the last stitch. So you're gonna come up, or I wanna come up, in between that thread and the circle, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So you come up in the center of that back stitch and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to work this trellis stitch a little bit more to show you how to do it. So we're going to go underneath this back stitch. I'm going to call that the bridge. Under the bridge, over and around. And I'm holding it with my thumb and I am pulling it through. You'll be able to see it better with this thicker thread or this thicker ribbon. So I'm just pull, using my thumb to push it out of the ribbon out of the way, go under the bridge, hold my needle over and around, and then I'm holding the thread while I pull that thread through into a knot. And we have to move that. So our little bridge, we have to make sure that it's just a little bit here, because you made one knot you have that little bridge and you have another knot. So it's like a gap. When I say bridge, I mean a little gap like this. So let's keep doing it. We're gonna go under, under the bridge, over and around, and I hold that thread and I tighten it up. And I wish I had longer fingernails so I can move that knot over 
and pull it because I have to have, this is my bridge. I have to have just a small little area. So let's pull that tighter and let's go under the bridge over and around the needle. And I'm gonna continue with this all the way around. Hopefully, I don't know if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing with this ribbon for you to see. I'm hoping it'll be a better thing than, than these to see. So needle under the bridge, over and around. And I'm holding the thread while I am pulling the ribbon through. You make a knot under the bridge, over and around. I'm holding the knot this time because it seems to have quite a big knot. So I'm making little knots all the way around. And these are my little bridges right in here. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to continue my next stitch under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Make sure that they lay beside each other. There we go. Beside, not on top. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. I guess with this bigger thread, I want to hold the knot so I don't go on top of the knot. So you see how I have these little, I have these knots forming. Knot, knot. I'm hoping this bigger thread will, thicker thread, will help show you how this stitch is built. I'm holding the knot so I don't double my knot. And I go under the bridge, over and around, and pull. And I'm holding that knot so I don't go on top of it, so I go beside it. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. I'm hoping to get this row done quickly so I can show you. I want to continue with the rest of the thread to see how far I can get with that beautiful variegated. So this trellis, trellis stitch will look different depending on the type of thread you use, whether it's a solid color or whether it's a variegated color. And because I, because this ribbon is um, woven across, I try to trim it at a diagonal and it's like that and it's still phrased. You have to be mindful and watch it every once in a while to see that it isn't unraveling for you. So under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Make sure that it, the knot is beside the knots, beside each other, and not on top of each other, like, because you could double knot that. Under the bridge, over and around. You saw how I kind of maneuvered that ribbon so it's sitting next to the other knot. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, So they're lining up nicely beside each other. And if we run out of thread, we'll have to re-thread our needle. And that's okay. Looks like I'm starting to ravel, unravel again. Oh, look at this. 
this is vintage, so maybe it, let's see, oh, I'm gonna have to move this a little bit. You see how that's wearing out? Vintage. Some vintage threads are very fragile. They're very, if you wear, pull through them lots, they wear out. And I guess this is one of them. So under the bridge, over and around, and pull. So we're lining these knots up. Oh, and that one's quite a distance, so I had to maneuver it. So I only, the space is small between each knot, and you'll see why in a minute. Under, over and around, and pull. Okay, this is the last one where I go under, over and around, and pull. So the next round, the second round, we go in between these two knots. We find that bridge, you see, and there's that little the space in between the two knots. The space between the two knots is where we want to go. So we put our needle in, over and around, and pull. Find that space between this and that knot, those next two knots. So you go under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Move your little knots. So under the bridge, over and around, and pull. And we're gonna keep working all the way around this first round. And you'll know it's a first round that it ends because you can see it's starting to get develop a weave. And we want to make our weave go around and around. Eventually we'll have to decrease the number of stitches in order to make our, oh look at this. We'll have to decrease the number of stitches to make our circle go smaller. Okay, then continue. So between the two knots, find our bridge, over and around, hold it with my thumb and pull. In between the two knots, we find our bridge, go under the bridge, over and around, and pull. The next two knots, we go under, Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Find our two knots, go under the bridge, over and around, and pull. They, there's a stitch called the cup stitch, so if you just continue going around and around and around, it'll form like around this around circle edge will just be built, built up taller and taller, taller and taller. Uh, that's why we decrease to bring it down and around into a circle form. So the first, the cup stitch, again, you just do the same number of, we're not doing the cup stitch, but more or less, that's exactly what it is. It's like a round trellis, but just keep, never decrease. Trellis, we decrease stitches eventually to form a circle, to form a smaller circle within. So between the two knots, you look for that space. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Under the bridge, over and around, and pull. I seem to be really short on that, on ribbon. And I always have to get rid of this frayed piece because it'll just continue to fray and we don't want that so let's continue under the bridge over and around and pull I want to continue making this this little ribbon trellis 
circle because you're going to see how different it looks compared to that one. Same stitch, but because we're using a different thread, so in between, the, look for the bridge in between the two knots, put your needle under that bridge, go over and around, and pull. I might only be able to do one more. So move your knots under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Okay, I am going to... Oh, look at that. I didn't even make one whole round. So I want then my next one will go under here. So I am going to I have I need to be going in between the two knots. My next stitch will come up here. So um, this is my bridge. So I'm going to go down just under that bridge. Just looking so I don't hit. I don't want to catch any of that ribbon underneath because it'll be too thick and it's hard for me to pull through. Okay, so I just want to make sure that it doesn't go wonky. And I'm just pulling it. I'm doing this because I need more thread. Okay, so I'm just anchoring it down and I'm just making a knot. And I have two layers around a circle here and a square. So to hide this edge because it's going to fray, is I'm gonna carry my needle in between the two pieces of wool. And it's hiding that rayon ribbon and I'm just cutting it right off. So I need more. This is that, I thought I would have enough to do this circle. It requires an awful lot. I think my length, some people say only go 18 inches. I go two full arm lengths and even that isn't even enough for, for this trellis stitch. So I am, and this is vintage. I got it at a secondhand store. Trim that off. And I cut it at a diagonal. Find my chenille needle. thread it through and let's make a knot at the end of this and we're going to come up okay, we end it right here so we're going to come up I'm going to come up on just In the same hole, I guess. Okay, so now this was our last bridge, so this is our next bridge. I'm just going to go underneath here in between them. So I came up on the inside of my circle, but I'm going to go in between here so it looks like. So I'm joining my threads. Here we are. So now I'm going to continue. So I came up on in between my the two pieces of ribbon rather than on the inside. So I came up in between here. So my next two knots are here. So this is my next bridge. So under the bridge, over and around. Okay, I'm catching myself with these. I don't need this right now, so I can move that. Okay, so that's a knot. And the next two knots, find your bridge, go under the bridge, over and around. I just love this stitch. My favorite is with this variegated thread. under the bridge, over and around, and pull. But it takes, like I said, an hour and three quarters to do this little bit, whereas it's gonna take much less time to do something with a larger thread. I think there's only one more stitch before, or two more stitches, or a couple more here before this first round is finished. So 
between the two knots, find the bridge, go under the bridge, over and around, and make a knot. Next two, make a, go under the bridge, over and around, and pull. Okay, so here, this is still the first. Oh, no, it isn't. We're working on the, see, find the two knots, go under the bridge and see how nice this little knitted portion is. We're gonna start pulling it in now. So to do that, let's just, let's do a couple here. So under the bridge, over and around. I'm gonna do another one. So let's go two, so, since this is my sec second round, so I went one, and this is my second time around. I don't think I'm gonna count them, because last time I counted them and they went a little wonky. I'm just gonna be decreasing now. So to bring this circle in on itself so it'll turn inward, we have to decrease. So instead of the next, this would be normally where we would put our next stitch. We're gonna skip this one. And we're just gonna continue in the next one. So we skipped one of these knots. We skipped a bridge and we went to the next one. So under that bridge, over and around. So we made a decrease by skipping a bridge. And just continue the next bridge, over and around, and pull. And I still have these nice little knots. So I did two. Let's go three. Over and around and down. So I'm going to do three stitches and skip one. So this would be our next one. I'm going to skip this one. So I'm going to do three next. So this is three beside each other, then skip one. So that's one. This is the next one, two. Three. Now I'm gonna find the next bridge. This would be the next one here. I'm gonna skip that one. I'm gonna find the next one and do three stitches now. One. So you just decrease in order to turn your cup, your circle in on itself. So that's one. Two, and again, you just wanna leave a needle's width of a bridge. Two, find the two knots, go underneath. This is the third one. We're gonna, this is the next bridge, but we're gonna skip this one. And we're gonna do three together, or three beside each other. So I mean, make sure you, when you pull this, you only have a needle's width of that bridge. That's one. Two. Three. This would be our next one. I'm gonna skip it. Okay, so this is the next one. What do we have here? Maybe we're at our, the next round. So this would be the next one. We're skipping it. I have to find the next one. So that's this guy here. So this is our skipped stitch and I'm gonna hold it. So the next two knots are here. Next two knots are here. And that is the stitch I want. So I'm gonna do three in a three beside each other. Look at how my thread is tangled. Okay, so I skipped one and I'm gonna do three together. One, not three together, three side by side. So that's one, two, 
two. Three. I want to decrease again. So this is my, this would be my next one. I'm going to hold that one. I'm going to miss it. My next, the next bridge is here. So I skipped that bridge. And I'm going to do three beside each other now. One. This is my next one. That's two. This is my next one. And three. It's folding in nicely and it's going to be quite thick here. So let's skip one. This is our next bridge. We're going to skip that one. Our next bridge is here. So we go underneath. Uh oh, I went through this ribbon. Get that out. So under the next, I skipped one bridge. I'm under the next one, over and around, and pull. Remember again, we just want that needle width of a bridge. So this is the bridge we worked under. So this is the next one. So that's one. This is number two. Two. And the next bridge is here. So this is number three. This would be my, the next one, I want to skip this one, and the next bridge is here. We want to pull the circle in more, inward, so that's why we decrease. And you see how I'm kind of pulling it this way to make sure that the knot is, the knots are close together. So this was the bridge I was working under, so this is the next one. One, two, two. This is a bridge I was just working under. This is the third one. We'll see if this is going to be too thick for me to use. One, two, three. This is my next bridge. I'm going to skip it. So I'm going to work beside this one. You see how much of a gap it's pulling inward. So that's one. Uh oh. Look at how my ribbon has frayed. Some ribbons really fray badly, and this is one of them that does. So I said, what one? Number? This is one. And that's what I was just working in. This is number two. And this is number three. Okay, we want to, this is what I was working in here. This is would be the next one, but I want to skip that one. And now we do three side by side. So one. You're working in this one. This is the, between the next two knots. So that's one. Okay, we want to, this is what we're working in. This would be our next one, but this is our, the one we want to skip. Let's go underneath this one and do three side by side. One, two. 
your decreases would depend on how thick your thread is. You might have to do less decreases on something like this where your thread is narrow. And this is the third one. Okay, and that's quite, it's, I'm, I'm gonna say it's quite hard. I'm not sure if I like this. So this will be our skipped one. And then we do three. Even though this is soft, when it's knotted up and it's so big, it's turning to be quite firm. So this is one. I'll finish it. Maybe I'm, and maybe it'll grow on me. One. Two. Three. I'm going to skip this one. Go for the next one. One. Two. There's a lot here. I'm going to have to decrease a lot more. So this is my next one, bridge that I want to skip. And then we're going to do, let's see where, oh, you see how big that is? My gap, this bridge before is really, I have to move it to one. And I see a very large fray happening. That's the next one, and that would be number three. Okay, this would be the next one. I'm going to skip that one. So let's go this guy here. So one. But let's make sure that we pull it tight. One. Skip this one. Oh, we gotta make sure we pull it really nice and tight here. One. Whoops. Two. space is kind of big so we have to I didn't pull it tight enough okay the thread is getting a little bit can you see how it really is wearing there let's move it down okay well, let's try to finish it here so did I say that that was three I can't even remember one two three so I'm going to skip this guy here Skip this next bridge and do three more together. Make sure it is, whoa, tight. So that's one. Hmm. 
that's the one I'm supposed to be missing. Okay, this is the one I'm pulling in. This we can't be doing by threes anymore. There's only so many holes here, so many bridges. Let's go into this next one and pull. I'm going to go into this next one again. to skip this bridge and let's go into the next one. I'm just trying to make it a nice round circle. And I believe I'm going to go into this one here, this next one. I'm not missing one. I think I have to pull him over. So I'm going to miss that, miss that bridge. Go over here. And pull. I am going to, this is what I'm working in here. I am going to go inside the next one right beside it. Only because I think I would make a big hole if I didn't. Sometimes you get these large gaps and I might have to play with this. Let's see. So where are we here? We did that one. Let's myth miss one and go in here. Okay, and do I want to go in there or do I want to go in there? Okay, you see how big of a hole that is? I am going to go in the one right next to it so I don't have a big hole. out of thread so it's going to be tricky I wanted to finish this guy here do I want to go here or here no I'm gonna skip one and I'm gonna go mosquitoes are quite bad outside here today holy I'm on the concrete patio and yet they're still out okay here and am I doing the last one okay do I want to do that one? I'm going to go down here. Is that the center of my circle? More or less. So let's go down. And will it cover it up? Let's make a knot. This one was tricky. I've made one with different kind of ribbon, but every ribbon is not the same. So I'm hiding this in between the two pieces of felt. I'm hiding this tail because it frays so much. Let's cut it off and let's have a look at what we made here. This is a trellis stitch. You start off with a back stitch and then you go round and around. So. Let's, I showed you how to, how to do that one. I want to finish using the thread that I have here. I'm going to take this and put it off on the side. This is my favorite one. This is a size five weight of thread that I'm using. And it's a little harder to see where you're, this is the stitch I'm currently working in. And this is the next stitch. So let's go under here over and around and through and it's hard to tell do I want to skip this guy I have to pull it so I'm gonna this is what I'm working in now this be the next one I'm gonna skip him and I'm gonna go in the one beside it 
over and around and pull. I'm going to continue working. This is what stitch I'm working in now. So do I want that one? Yeah, I'll just work right beside this one and then I'll skip the next one. So this would be my next one. I'm going to skip that one and I am going to do that one to bring them a little tighter. And I tie my knot a little closer. And my thread is just about out. So I just want to use up my thread here because I love it so much. Let's go around and pull. Maybe I can do one more stitch. Let's do that one. Over and around and pull. Is my dog in the alley? Maybe he's in the house. Jeez, sounds like he's out back. Okay, so let's, do I pull him closer? Now let's just, uh, let's, boy, it sounds like he's in the alley. Maybe I better end this video up and around. Sometimes he sneaks under the fence. Okay, and maybe he's in the house with my husband. I better go check. So here we are. To end it, this was this would be where I would come up in my next bridge. I'm gonna just go down in here. Just gonna pull him out. And I'm gonna go down where it would be next. Perfect. I don't want to pull it too tight. Okay, I like the way that is, and let's end this off. So we'll see how the different threads look different in the trellis stitch. And I better go. I can't tell if he's barking from inside or out, inside the house or out of the yard. So this is what I have done. I love the way this looks here. So the other, other oh, I think he's behind me, so he must be in the house. So this one here, I'm going to finish this one off, continuing it off camera to see if I want to add him on here. And this one here, so I'm going to go off and continue. So I'm going to continue doing these trellises and see if I want to keep this on here or not. We'll see. I put the turquoise, brought the turquoise over here, brought the green over here, and I need to have some of this uh, this ribbon somehow in here. So I'm going to go off to finish that and find where Nurse Jock is. Thank you everyone for watching the trellis stitch and experimenting with different threads will give you different results. They just look so different. Very tightly woven in plain color versus variegated versus your ribbon. So they do look different in different stitches. Thanks for, sh for watching. Bye for now.